hello guys welcome back to vs tech today in this video we will see about content modifier content modifier is a tool used in integration process to adjust incoming messages by modifying headers exchange properties or the message body to meet the specific requirement let's take the content modifier from transformation palette function drag the content modifier and place in the integration process and let's add the timer to start the integration process connect the timer to content modifier and we're gonna connect this content modifier to end message connect this content modifier to end message let's look into it the content modifier now we are going to configure the content modifier and this is the general tab we can rename it according to your requirement or according to your wish and this is the message header we use this message header to define metadata that can influence message routing or processing and this is the exchange property exchange property is a key value pair used to store data temporarily during message processing it is a powerful and flexible way to pass information between steps in an integration flow and this is the message body where we can keep a constant body or where we can use a dynamic expression which we define the exchange property you can call that property here and there is some step to define how to define a property how to call a property i will tell about that for example we gonna place an xml data in this message body i have some sample xml data which i placed in my notepad let's copy all and paste it in the message body and we gonna save and deploy this and trace is activated deploy okay 1914 and we will see the output now that the helper was some issue we gonna refresh this page this and click here in global view and edit and have the body and we will see the output now and let's look into the body which we placed in message body in content modifier and this is the employee sample data which i placed in the content modifier body and now we will we will see some interesting topic about content modifier let's drag this up in exchange property suppose we will create one property and we will create as city and source type we have source type constant expression global variable header local variable number range property and xpath let's look into this first constant if you want to define a constant value let's use this source type as constant and you can define some value source type as constant like new york new york 
for constant we don't have to define a data type and we have some data types also let's look into this for string data types or alphabet data types we use source type as java dot lang dot string s will be capital in string and for suppose we have numerics for that what you will give for numeric for numeric or number we will define it as java dot lang dot integer i will be capital in integer and there will be some other also you can define if you want java dot lang dot boolean also and we will define java dot lang dot double also long also like that we can define and let's we will look into our content modifier for constant we don't have to define a data type for expression we have to define data type whether it is string or numeric you have to define for string java dot lang dot string for integer java dot lang dot integer and for global variable global variable when we use this if you define some data store value by using right variable function right variable function this right variable function you, if you define anything in right variable function we can use it as like a global variable if you define this some city as new york in this iflow and you can use that uh, by calling this property function in another iflow also that is the global variable and this is the header header which we use here in this message header function i'll tell about that and this is the local variable and difference about global and local variable is global variable we use to define by right variables and that global variable we can call in any iflow but local variable if you call in this iflow you have you will be used only in this iflow you cannot access in any another iflow you will be access only in this iflow that is the difference between local and global variable and this is the number range and this will be called in the monitor tab i'll make another video for this number range separate video uh, we can define some uh, random variables random numbers for that we use number range and this is the property in exchange property if you're defining any property like that we can use this property and this is the x path and this is x path if you want this body has and you want name you want this name john dio only this name for that you can define name let's run this xpath will not able to run here we have to add another content modifier here that's why i will tell about xpath let's take it as constant and by the way we'll tell about this also message header this is to use to influence message routing or processing for suppose 
this is the XML data. If you are sending now to end message only, if you are sending any uh, connector to outside the integration flow to the receiver connector, that time it has to accept XML data. You are telling that system accept this XML data. This is the XML data. For that, we use message header, headering the whole body. For that, we use content type, like what content type it is. Constant and source value will take as application application was xml data so that's why we used to define application slash xml content type then the system will read this okay this is the xml data if suppose you are sending json data define like this json like this we use message header exchange property now i will show this where you will get this message header and exchange property also now save and deploy click on ok click on this see in property we define new york so that's why we get city New York in property for output. In header content type application slash XML. And in the body we'll get our body employee sample data. And this is about content modifier. And uh, there is one pending one. And that was XPath. Let's try I guess at this and we will place another content modifier and take here exchange property as name this property name name and we will take property type as xpath and we will define a xpath value here for that let's we gonna focus on one record for this record, I want only name, name value. For that, I have to define root node, child node, and name. For that, we have to define like. Let's define here. It will be is slash employees. We have to type employees root node here slash employee child node okay employee and the field which i want see employees employee and name we're gonna copy this xpath value and paste it in the content modifier property which are we gonna defining Let's paste here and we have to define our data type. First string data type we have to define it as java dot lang dot string as will be capital java dot lang dot string. Now we will get this name in property tab in output. Let's see that. And we will deploy. Okay. And this is our output. See, in property name, we have John Dio. In body, we're gonna get a body John Dio. And after, there is one thing. How to call when you define in property and header for that how to call like this dollar property dot name 
if you are defining property and you want that property value which you defined for that you have to call with dollar property dot name name is property name property name and this has to be property if suppose you defined in header for that you have to use dollar h e a d e r header dot if suppose header was content type content type let's run this name was john dio and the content type header which you which we call in the content modifier was application slash xml like that we can call by defining in the content modifier in any future if you want uh, in any future in this i flow if you want uh, uh, some function you will be calling in mail process mail body for that we we have to define uh, so many times to come out this we will use this content modifier defining we will define this content modifier and we can call multiple times by using that uh, function property dot name property dot name and this is the use of the content modifier and the content modifier is the important one in the integration process we use frequently this content modifier for building this iflow for building any iflow this is the main one in the iflow and this is about the content modifier if you have any doubts you can comment in this video and this is about the content modifier in the next video i will tell about converters and please like share and subscribe Okay guys